Hello, I'm back. All right, this is my Appalachian Trail Hike Journal number two. Monson, Maine to Gorham, New Hampshire, 174.7 miles. This is journal entry number 13, Wednesday, June 21st, 1978. I'm 18 years old and I'm hiking the Appalachian Trail from Maine to Georgia. Well, here I am lying in my sleeping bag at 6.15 a.m. And the more I think about it, the more I realize that I shouldn't try to do 20 miles today. So I think I'll just do 10.1 miles to Jerome Brook Lean To. <clears throat> Started hiking at 7.30, got to Jerome Brook Lean To at 12.30. Thought I was off the trail today two times. This time, a week from now, I should be at the main New Hampshire line. Did only 10.1 miles today for the first time since I've been on the trail. I finally made a fire today. It took a while, but I finally got one going. For some reason, I feel like I just want to hurry up and get out of Maine. Like I want to hurry up and prove to myself that I can cross the Bigelows, the Crockers, Mount Bemis, the Mahoosics, mountain ranges. But I know that I can't turn back. There's only one way to go, and that's south. Because I'm from South Carolina, that's why I'm hiking from Maine to Georgia, so I'm hiking home instead of hiking away from it. Tomorrow I will have been hiking for two weeks. Here are the mountains that I have climbed so far. I'm getting ready to read them off to you. Mount Katahdin, of course. White Cap, Hay Mountain, West Peak, Guff Hagus, Barron, 4th, 3rd, Columbus, uh, Moxie Bog, Pleasant Pond Mountain. Okay. I just love it when I'm real tired and I come up to a lean-to and there's another hiker already there. It gives me someone to talk to and exchange information with. I was extremely lonely, folks. <laughs> God. Everything that I do and, and everything that happens to me on this trail is tied into one big learning experience. Oh, yeah, when I lit my stove this morning, the flame came up into my face and singed some of my hair. Everything was so wet today and I never stopped to rest because millions of mosquitoes would attack me. I would like to catch up with Steve Stanulis and Tracy Wigan, but they are about two weeks ahead of me. I've taken inventory of my food supplies and I have exactly seven days of food left with a little bit left over to get me into Gorham Thursday, June 29th, 1978. I had to take some of the food out of my lunch menu bags in order to do that though. I have six packets of drink mixes left. I have 33 vitamin pills left. So at two a day, I have 16 days. Buy some more vitamins in Gorham, New Hampshire. What surprised me when I came back to the lean-to, Philip and two other boys who started at Carentunk and are going to Gorham, Philip's going to Georgia. Hearing these guys talk about how sore they are makes me rem remember my first few days. Five people in this lean-to tonight. <clears throat> One guy named Marco, he came all the way from Georgia. While I know I'm going to do it now, He's doing 25 to 30 miles a day, and he has a huge Kelty pack. He gave me some real good information to put in my data book, and this is the Appalachian Trail data book. It tell, it, in 1978, it told me all the distances from all the lean-tos, towns, stores, everything. And y'all probably got all that stuff better now with cell phones and GPS and all that. Okay. So, along the trail, Marco also said he would send me some military bug repellent in Lee, Massachusetts. All right, that's the end of journal entry 13. Uh, on my next YouTube post will be journal entry 14, Thursday, June 22nd, 1978. And God willing, I'm going to put every journal entry from all 12 journals all the way up to I finish in Springer Mountain, October the 30th, 1978. Uh, that's going to be an emotional reading there, folks. All right. See you later, alligator.